hello crypto enthusiasts it's daniel patrick here and you're welcome to the channel if you're done watching this video and you did enjoy it then try as much as possible to stay for the community all right today's video is going to be simple fast and um quick all right i'm going to be tr i'm going to try my, my best to be as fast as i can all right today's video i'm going to go straight to the point and today's video is going to be about how to pass b network kyc verification process all right i'm going to teach you the do's and don't all right so first thing first uh what we're meant to do is to click on the profile all right uh before but before we jump in right now make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn notification bell on so you don't miss out when i create updates like this all right so what you're meant to do right now is to click on profile all right once you click on profile now um you're going to head over to this very page and what you're meant to do is to click on account and security all right we're going to come to the kyc but first off you're going to click on account and security right here and you're going to um know why i said you should do that all right the reason you're going to do that is because um you need to make sure that you bind at least two of your social media accounts as you can see right here my discord is bound my telegram is bound my twitter is bound and my number right here is bound all right so um you have to make sure that two of your social media accounts is bound you can do for facebook if you have a facebook account you can do for twitter you can do for telegram you can do with your email uh, or google like that all right just make sure that two of your account is bound after that you come and click on kyc verification now it's going to ask you to allow b network to take pictures and record audio and also allow you to record your um audio right um once once it loads up um, the next page you're going to see is to complete your kyc you need to complete the following two steps all right which is find at least two social media accounts which is what i just showed you right now all right you see the need why you need to do that that's step one all right you can bind at least you can bind twitter facebook telegram or discord whatever one you choose to all right after that the next step you're meant to do is to complete real face or real person authentication complete real person authentication and then you have to click on that authentication button to complete this real person authentication the moment you do that it's going to redirect you to this very page right now that says um your personal information verification now you have to fill in your personal information and the first thing you're meant to do is to select your national select your nationality after that you choose a verification method and then you fill in your information what you're meant to do is to click on continue and it will redirect you to the next page now on this next page you're meant to select your nationality by clicking on the drop down arrow all right but if you know your nationality is very um it's where it is is very long you just have to type it in right there all right mine was nigeria and what i did was just type in nigeria in the search bar right there and it popped up and i selected it and and then i clicked on continue the next page would ask you to choose a verification method and you are left the, between the option of um and you have two options all right which is to choose between an identification card or his passport all right um for me i choose identification card in that very video but if you have a passport all right just go ahead and use your international passport for this all right uh don't use your local your school passport and all that use a valid passport an international passport all right but if you have an id card a country accepted id card i'm not talking of just any card kind of id card a country accepted id card let me say that id card you were asked to bring for financial verification uh all these are um, mining apps verification make sure that the id card is valid is something that is requested everywhere all right um i'm saying generally for people that are from different countries i'm from nigeria and i don't really know how it works for that country but from nigeria i'm going to explain for nigerians what they are meant to do all right after you select the one that is most suitable uh, with you then you click on continue and then you come to this page which will ask you to fill in your information which is your name now very this is very important you must type your name as it is in any valid id card you have all right you must type your full names as it is in any valid id card you have so i'm going to type in i what i did was i typed in my full name all right i typed in my full name and then i typed in my id number all right now for nigerians if you don't know what id number is what you have to do is to go to google play store all right go to google play store and search for nimsi in the search bar nimc all right and download the official nimsi app that is nigeria 
um, NIN card um, app portal, all right? So what you're meant to do is to log in with your NIN number, all right? You're going to have to create an account with your NIN number. Once you create an account with your NIN number, it's going to display your full NIN details, all right? So the first button you're meant to click once you log into that NIMC app is to click on show my ID. After clicking on show my ID, you click on full ID, all right? Toggle the full ID bar. All right, so that you display your date of birth. Then the next is to use that document number in the front of your ID to fill it in here. Fill the document number in the front of ID right here um, in the text field provided right here. All right, that is what you are meant to do. I won't be able to um, re screen record that because the app does not allow screen recording. All right, but the document number is not enough because you still be required to snap the physical version of your ID card snap and upload or snap directly and send and that is why you have to do this next um what you're actually meant to do is to click on the one that says print nin sleep all right and it will bring you to a screen that says welcome easily manage your public identity via web and mobile services and stuff like that all right and that's where you'll be able to um, pay for this name c card and be able to print it all right how do you print it all you just have to do is to go to a cyber cafe or a print shop all right a shop where you can actually print um ID, an id a digital id to plastic in plastic form all right because you really want to snap this you want to snap this and send to them all right or you can just after printing it out in plastic front and back what you do is snap it store it on your phone and upload all right um, so that if you're not in a good position or you don't have it at that moment you can just upload the one you have snapped make sure it's very clear and um and reviews all your information all right again the id number is the document C card right there in your app, all right? But um, if you're from Philippines, India, Pakistan, what you have to do is to uh, make sure that the ID you, you're using is a country verified ID, an ID that is required for all citizens, all right? And make sure that the most important number there, um, some use NIN number, make sure that NIN number there is, is there. Um, but for Nigerians, I didn't use my name number. I actually used um, my document number, which is also an important number, all right? So know the important number in your ID and use it, the two important numbers, all right? The one that is most important to you, that you feel is most important that will be required for this, please fix it in here with your full name and then go ahead and click on continue. And um, the moment I did click continue, what I saw was document verification and i was asked to fill in my personal information all right as you can see on the screen right now fill in your personal information and the first thing is to upload the full photo of your id card the second is to fill in to ensure that all details in the uploaded image are clearly legible all right they're going to look at the image you're uploading and um check whether it resonates with your account all right so please make sure the certificate is original and within the validity period make sure your id is not expired make sure your passport is not expired after that you click on continue so after clicking on continue, I was asked to take a photo of my um, ID, all right? Um, like I told you, uh, you have to pay for the NIMC app, all right? There's an option right there to pay for the NIMC ID card. After I submitted my ID, this is what it looks like, all right? So this is how your ID, this, I'm just giving you a glimpse, um, a, a, a glimpse of how your ID should look like, all right? It should display your important information after that you click on continue and you will be brought to this very screen right now that would um ask you to perform a human verification and as you can see it says you're almost there now this human verification is that you have to fix your face in the face tray on the screen all right you have to make sure your face fits well and please do not stay in a place where the, where the light is too bright or a place where um it's there is no light all right where a place where it's too dark all right you have to balance it has to be balanced all right you have to stay in a place where the light is normal okay for this so that the verification will go smoothly after that you click on start and the countdown a countdown will begin uh, which will count down from three to one all right after that you click on complete and upload after this you're going to be given a message that says under review and that we are viewing your application and um for me it says Thank you for providing. You mentioned my name and said thank you for providing the required information. After the review is completed, we will notify you of KYC approval. Estimated review time is 14 working days. All right. So that's what um that's the message I got back then. All right. And then when I click back um 
um right here i saw under review which is complete real person authentication that's the very part where you complete real person authentication i actually saw under review as you can see on my screen right now now an important thing you need to also know as a b network miner is that this very process started from here all right so once you click on profile you want to click on event center after clicking on event center and it loads up you want to go get your kyc slot asap i created a video for this um i won't be going into details in this very video right now okay but um i am going to show you i'm going to uh, at least explain some things for you right here so click on get your kyc verification slot or get your kyc slot asap and um, as you can see here these attacks you are meant to perform right here the first is follow b network international on twitter after that you retweet b network international on twitter and as you can see in the description here it says hello believers here's the event for you who needs kyc to complete follow the b network official twitter account to get your kyc qualification once you complete the event check profile page to apply for your kyc as simple as that and other things you need to know here but um looking here you see that about 32 key people have actually performed this very tax right now and these are people that would definitely get their kyc slot fast all right this was how i got mine all right like i told you before i created a video for this and i'll be leaving it up on the screen right now so you can go watch that video and understand the kyc process and how it works right how to get your own kyc slot so that you will get this kyc uh notification or get your kyc slot faster than other people right you see these 32k people they would definitely get their kyc slot before others all right because they actually carried did the tax right here and once you perform this tax you're going to be giving one b coin all right it's nothing actually but it's something all right they just reward you for doing it all right so it's a win-win situation for you you use one stone to kill two beds so this is it for this so this kyc was actually done on the 18th of november 2023 and on the 23rd of november 2023 something happened i'm going to show you what happened right now so i'm going to go over to my profile right now right i'm going to click on the profile section of this video and as you can see here kyc success all right uh, this is trying to say that i have successfully performed my kyc guys so this this is trying to say that I, I passed my kyc all right and if i click on that right now you're going to see that this kyc was approved that is the finish time was uh 23rd of november 2023 and here are my personal information my names and my id number all right so my details are here and this is to tell you that this actually worked all right like i promised you in my um other video which i showed you how to go through the process of the kyc i told you that if this work i'm going to bring it to you and if the, if it doesn't i'm going to i'm going to still update you and tell you what and what not to do so this video is practically what you should do to get or pass your kyc all right to pass your kyc in the b network app all right i hope you really enjoyed it now if i click on this eye icon it's going to review my full details my full information but i'm not going to click on that now there's something there's there's an important thing i need to point out here also now um you need to make sure that your name corresponds with your id card all right the name you have here corresponds with your id card now um trying to fix the name it might be a, a little bit lengthy and might not really contain but make sure your last name and your first name is present all right if your middle name cannot contain you can leave that but make sure your last name and your first name is present so that when the human reviewer try to review your account they won't find anything that will look suspicious that will make them decline or make you go through hard kyc process uh, all right uh, request for information that would be would be really hard for you to get so this is it that this is how to pass your kyc on the b network app i hope you really enjoyed this video guys um if you really enjoyed this video please leave a like if you want to thank me as a composition for creating this video for you subscribe to the channel right now and turn the notification bell on to all all right it's also for your own benefit for your own good all right so you don't miss out whenever i create videos like this also if you are really like if you're really, really pumped up about the information you saw today just go to the comment section right now and say thank you for creating this video or thank you daniel or i appreciate or anything just a nice compliment and i'll really appreciate it guys um if you haven't joined our social media handle i will highly advise you do um which is um facebook telegram and whatsapp all right that's a small social media community all right the reason you join it is so you also stay updated about 
videos and updates will be posting all right uh you don't want to miss out on any of them i tell uh, trust me you don't want to miss out on any of them so i remain your crypto guy daniel patrick and um i will see you in the next video all right stay safe